What up guys, thanks for coming back. Today we have the Great Video Maker 520 LED light. It's considered one of the best YouTube lights for creating content. It comes with a really nice hard case. We're gonna go ahead and set the light up, test it, review it, and see how it compares to other lights. Here's the bar and door for the light. It's easy to assemble. Um, it's totally optional, but I chose to put it on a little later down the line in the video. It comes with some cables, four screws to mount it to the light. That's what it looks like when it's open. Some more cables, um, a thank you note. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. It's probably the power cable. Yeah, that's the first part of the power cable. Pretty standard. And here's the second part of the adapter that you of course plug into. That's the soft box that comes with it. I pretty much leave that on. I haven't used it without the panel up to this point because it's really harsh without it, even though you can control the temperatures. It's made out of a aluminum alloy, has an aluminum alloy housing. Looks like it's about 10 by 10, I guess. That's the tripod mount and the tightener knob. Those holes are for other accessories and other mounting brackets as well, so check that out. On the back, you can see that there are two spots for external batteries. You got a plug for the AC adapter to go into, and you got your two control knobs for the lights. These are the batteries that are required for portable usage. For me, the batteries have lasted about three and a half to four hours, so it depends. Use these guys to adjust the framing around it. The build quality is excellent. I've even dropped it a few times, and it's held up well. This is one of the lights I was using before. Yeah, I know, I know. Here's one of the mounts or tripods for this thing. It cost about maybe 16 bucks on Amazon. Here we are with the light on, but let me change my music really quick, guys. It's, it's kind of annoying. I got you, Wills. Thanks, buddy. That guy works so hard. Taking my glasses off so you can see with no reflection in my glasses. It's kind of hot in here. Ugh. This is where the color temperature is dimmable from 32K to 56K, and the brightness is from zero to 100. You just got more control when trying to adjust your lighting. So I set it up outside in the complete darkness to see what I could do with it. I didn't cut it up all the way because I didn't want to blind myself, but if you had two of these, you'd pretty much be set. It, it doesn't actually look that bad. If you're shooting like a music video or doing like an outside interview, this is, this this will get you through it. For a hundred bucks, you really can't you can't beat that. Here's the light in action, shooting a couple Comac videos, a tutorial, and a music video. You guys should really check out. This is the first light I bought that was adjustable, the cell phone ring light, which works pretty good. YouTube's most popular light, the ring light or beauty light. This one has a hot shoe mount, goes on top of a DSLR work perfectly and the cell phone everybody uses the cell phone if you don't use it start using it see now with the ring light you get those ring light eyes and I know that's a thing on YouTube everybody loves them ring lights actually looking a little better than the GVM right now I don't know peace out guys thanks for watching Keep on the line. Stay right there. Look to your left. Stay there. Come behind you. From oh, should I look down at your hands? There we go. Ah, oh, I didn't come out good at all. <laughs>